gonna talk about the exciting world of, wait for it, fiber ID testing. I'm Jeff Cross with Clean Facts. Do you really need to do fiber ID testing when you're cleaning carpet and furniture? When you think about it, you know, we cleaned this carpet before. We, maybe not this carpet, but carpet just like it. We clean every day, we never have any trouble. Why do we need to do a fiber ID test? Well, the short answer is it can keep you out of trouble. Knowing what you're cleaning should be a basic, a basic skill of any technician. What you're cleaning, how it's going to respond to cleaning, spots and stains and chemistry and all that. When it comes to carpet, sure, they, you're gonna get away with a lot when you clean it if you don't know what you're cleaning. It could be nylon, polyester, wool. Uh, we don't, it could be olefin. You're probably not gonna have too many issues. Of course, with wool, you wanna be very careful. But with furniture cleaning, you really need to know what you're cleaning. You need to do your fiber ID test. Let's just talk quickly about how easy this can be and how fast it can be. I've got a couple samples here. I've got one that's a carpet yarn. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my trusty tweezers. Uh, only really tough people use their fingers. I've seen it happen before, but one pair of tweezer, butane lighter, bring the flame in to, I'll bring this in closer. If you bring the flame in to the fiber, you can see it's starting to pull away and melt. That right there is enough test to tell me it's a plastic product. It's nylon, or olefin, or polyester. If you do a burn of this, light it on fire, making sure there's nothing below that can catch on fire or cause a problem, you can see it burning. It's got two colors. Of course, the odor might help, help, help you with what it is. Uh, that's kind of difficult. But if you do a test on this, you can tell that that is nylon. So nylon fiber, I'm gonna get rid of that little ash there. Not many troubles cleaning that. But then you get into furniture cleaning and you wonder what is, is the fiber I'm cleaning and should I be concerned? So here's another example. Here's another sample. I'm gonna bring the flame in close to the fiber and you can see it's not pulling away. Nothing happens with heat. So it's not melting, it's a natural fiber. Let's go ahead and put a flame right on it. And as you watch this, you can see it burns like paper. That's because it is, it's cotton. You can see the glowing ember at the end there. Blow this out, you can see that. Can you smell it? Well, I can smell it. It smells like burning paper, so we know we have a plant-based cellulose fiber, such as cotton. And that thing is still going, so I'm gonna put that out. You never know what can happen when you're playing with fire. Not that I'm recommending you play with fire. Here's another one. So if you didn't know that was, if you were cleaning this piece, this one we just tested, the cotton piece, you could have some issues with some browning, some color loss, some shrinkage. Who knows, uh, you know, if you're a cleaner, anything can happen. Here's our last one we'll look at. It, you know, it looks like polyester, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Bring the flame in, it doesn't pull away, so it's not a plastic, it's a natural fiber. Let's go ahead and burn it. And this one has a sputter to it, a little bit of smoke, it goes out on its own and it smells really bad. That is silk. And looking at the fabric itself, you probably couldn't tell, of course that's a small sample, you probably couldn't tell what it was. But when you do your fiber ID testing, thinking of the big picture, you can tell what the problem fibers are, the ones that are gonna give you some issues when you clean. So do the smart thing, do the professional thing, do a quick fiber ID test. If you need a fiber ID chart to do your testing, send me an email, jeffcross at issa.com, and I'll return that to you uh, just as something you could use, so in an email, jeffcross at issa.com. Anyway, I hope that helps. We'll get into deeper fiber ID testing at another time, but ba the basics are, know if it's a plastic fiber or a natural fiber, do a quick test, and stay out of trouble. Enjoy cleaning.